Lemonix here. We're in Monmouth County, New Jersey, and this is uh, day four for the squirrels. We've caught three so far. Got ground traps. Got three ground traps. This is the target area. And there's a lot of weak. There's a lot of weak spots that squirrels can get in in these vent vent covers. But uh, through the inspection, they're definitely not. You're not getting through the. Uh, Vent areas you can see with the neighbors. See what the neighbors are getting into their vents. So I mean, this house really does need to be pest proofed to get longer term. Up here, this gable, they're chewing through the gable there. So I'm gonna have to wire that off. You can see we're just gnawing on the on the wood just for the heck of it. But they're, they're not getting through that gable. It's wired off from the inside. But they're getting in through the frame on the front. And that's why you need a company that has a, uh, like us, that does a trapping strategy along with the uh, pest proofing. Versus companies that don't do trapping. And they just try to they just patch up the holes and uh, hope, hope the scrolls don't come back. You know, they didn't even remove, remove the, uh, the villains off your property. Here's a trap that I have on a shelf. I caught a, a squirrel up there the first day and I just came today and found out this other squirrel's up there and he was pretty tricky. He's able to eat out of the trap without triggering the device so I uh, refilled it. So it's pretty comfortable going in there to feed. So likely it's going to go in there. I made the trap pretty sensitive so if he just touched that pan he's going to get trapped and I can come rescue it. Just put the ladder up and get it. And I already did a, uh, I already put wire on the top where he's getting in. On the top, see it? I got uh, a screw on the bottom, so if there's one in there, he could push out. And hopefully, uh, uh, he, he won't be able to get back in easily. Unless he pries it back, but I made it so, uh, if there was one in there, he could get out if he worked at it. Hopefully he's out today. And then there's another patch job from the uh, what the owner did himself. Here's some other stages of uh, pest proofing that he did. You can see the wire here. Where they're hanging out on the uh, window AC unit, the fixed window AC units year round. They sit up there and start chewing on the house. But there's all these other weak spots. They're just thin screens. That they could just pop into anytime they wanted. So I made the recommendation if you wanted an extended warranty, I'd cap all those off. But in the meantime, we're gonna get this settled. We're just doing a trapping only right now. And uh, you know, hopefully uh, he'll, he'll want to do a pest proofing by uh, by next month. That's why you need to uh, call us to do this kind of work. It's, we're not the cheapest, but the cheapest isn't going to do the trapping at all. They're not going to go through the effort on multiple service trips and putting up ladders every time and do what it takes and go out of their way above and beyond uh, what is assessed. Things can get complicated under a warranty plan. You, once we do the agreement, we, we do what we promise, whatever it takes. While you chose a company, a couple hundred, five hundred less, um, you think you got the same warranty, you thought you got a deal. Wow, you shopped around and you found a cheaper company or two. And hey, just go with them. Their warranty says the same thing, that they're you're going to be squirrel free for the year or whatever. And then when it gets complicated, they're going to say, sorry, that's not our problem. You have to call a roofer. You know, a lot of these companies aren't even licensed contractors. They're just pest professionals. Wildlife professionals are not licensed contractors. So if it's a roofing issue or something structural, they're going to say, sorry, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, you're going to have to call a separate contractor. And whatever that contractor does isn't going to be covered under the squirrel warranty. And they don't, and those companies, most of them do not have a trapping strategy in place. They just do it one way or they just do a patch up and pray there's none in there. 
or they'll patch it up and if you do call them back they'll put a trap in the attic and that's a disaster so that's why people ask us but every house is different so it's really difficult to explain the consequences and what could happen what's the point you're going to find out might as well you're going to have to hire a company we assume you're going to hire us when we assess something uh, uh, that's difficult but uh, you go the cheaper route you're going to be throwing the money away and then you're going to be uh, you know then you're not going to want to hire me because oh I, I lost you know a significant amount of money and <laughs> you know so you're going to end up having to deal with that company and argue with them and threaten them and back and forth in the meantime they're tearing up your house the uh, squirrels so good luck if you're not doing it this this method you're taking your chances save some money which is it's always good to save money but if you're hiring a professional you want to do it right so I'm, I'm documenting on the uh, possibilities and this is a this is really an easy situation for us but uh, a lot of companies don't do it this way we don't know how many we know for sure there's there were four I caught three and there's one in there there could be 12 there could be 15 and then there's even more on the uh, peripheral and other properties so once you get rid of these squirrels remove them and relocate them there could be new ones coming in to take over and that's what the warranty is for